copycatters vlogging live day four one of the topics that someone suggested that we do was um, how do i keep things interesting after having my cats for 10 years you know like how do i keep them from not being bored i can't tell you that i am an expert at that but in general um cats are pretty creative so for example anything i'm doing i invite the cats to do with me with the exception of something that might be harmful for them like bleach or something like that so earlier trig was on this bed and i was running the yao catnip banana that's inside of it along the outside of the accordion to get him to play so we'll see if he'll do that <laughs> Are you tired? Wooey's coming. Woo, you're coming. Wooey's a little more aggressive when it comes to playing with the banana in the accordion bed, but we'll see. Gotta get in the bed. He was eating, so. <laughs> see how Charlie just stuck his paw in that hole? I mean, that's that's the beauty of cats. You don't really have to work too hard to keep them entertained. I also was raised with one cat and a German Shepherd and uh, two animals, I mean, kids, number one, are like the best for cats are, yes, to keep cats entertained if the cat is a good kid cat. If the cat doesn't like kids, then that's a whole other bag of worms. <laughs> but one of the ways obviously is to play with them. Um, so you can do stuff like this, um, cat wand toys. You could also just get a string and pull it underneath a piece of paper. There's lots of free things that you can do with cats to keep them entertained. Um, you could also uh, make their food challenging. Like if you feed your cats dry food, which we've already talked about, I'm not a big fan of it, but you could hide it in different spots of the house for them to find it. Um, you could do the same with wet food, but that could be kind of gross. So that is an option. Um, I let my cats outside every day. Um, look at how, look at this mess. Your mane is a mess. We need to comb that, boo-woo. We need to comb it. Uh, so letting them outside every day is huge because, um, we go outside and then we, he, he thinks we're going to go outside since I'm talking about it, but we've already gone out today. Um, because they see birds and squirrels and all sorts of things that keep them entertained, all sorts of different kinds of smells that are exciting for them to go after. We have this ripple rug and then that um, cat puzzle toy right there. So you can put treats or dry food in that for them to fish out. Uh, technically, I guess you could put wet food in there too and then just r rinse it off since it's all plastic. Stacy said, I don't like dry food either and I've had issues with previous cats before getting UTIs with dry. Um, sorry, I think somebody was knocking at my door. And that's why one of my cats is on canned food. And yes, I agree, Stacy. It's really important that cats are on canned food. Somebody's at our door, so I was going to show you. This is another way to keep them entertained. I don't want to answer it because I think it's a... Um, a person like a solicitor <laughs> but that helps him and Chiggy loves every day when the mail comes because he runs to the mailbox and waits for the mail to drop in and then you can see Charlie waiting to see who it is as well So I've talked about how I don't like to have a schedule or a routine with my cats and one of the reasons that I don't like to have that is because 
um, it kind of makes you tied to their schedule. So when I say that, I mean on their food. Um, so they get fed, my cats get fed between 8 and 11 every morning. There's no, I mean, that's a huge window, I know. And then the other, and at night it can be 5 to 8 when they get fed. And then that way I'm not a prisoner to their schedule. Um, I can move freely about my house for that. And then the... Um, the other thing is that I do have a routine with them. Like we have a routine of how we go about, do, you know, how, being served food, how we go about, you know, playing every day, how we go about going outside every day. So I do think that a routine is important. I just don't think you should be a prisoner to their schedule unless you want that in your life. Charlie, who's outside, Char Char? Who is it? Um, so tell me guys what else you want to see in our vlogs and I will try to get that done. In general, though, I think cats are pretty good at keeping themselves entertained, especially if you have things around the house that will stimulate their curiosity. Stacy said, I've been watching you for a while. You're the one that got me to change my ways with my cats on canned food. I love you. Well, thank you, Stacy. We love you, too. And I think that, um, sorry if that sounded insincere. I hate when... Somebody says, I love you, and I say, I love you right back. But I do. I, I love all floppy catters that sit here and watch us. Um, but I do think that that changing of the diet is so important. And, Stacey, I don't know if you caught one of our vlogs the other day, but I was talking about um, dry food and UTIs, diabetes, um, turds. Like when Charlie was on dry food mostly and a little bit of wet food, he, oh, I mean, he could never take a proper dump and it would always be sticking to his fur. And, and then because it was stuck to his fur, he would take his bottom and run it across my carpet. So I would have like, um, tarry poop, like embedded into my carpet. Oh, now that is way better than UTIs and diabetes, but still sucks. So I'm a big fan of no dry food, but I also mentioned the other day that Charlie is on two tablespoons of dry food again to get him to eat. See, you know who got deers? Who's had deers? Coco had deers? Oh, that brings up another thing um, as far as cat entertainment is concerned. So Trig will get on this Papa's on chair and then he'll poke his head through those blinds and see who's out there. Um, so I think having you know, window access too for an indoor cat is huge where you can open up the blinds and they can watch squirrels and birds and people walk by if you're in a neighborhood type of situation. All right, guys. Well, I think that's our vlog for today. Hope that helps somebody and answers some questions. But in general, I don't really think hard on what to do um, to entertain my cats. It just kind of comes naturally based on my personal experiences and I also don't like to be bored so I'm always doing something to entertain myself as well which helps them be entertained Cheek. Cheek. oh and then I have like random stuff like this on the door and Trig has you know he'll go up and hit it and whack it <laughs> all right guys hope you have a great day